For some people who are upset the way law enforcement is gearing up for the first protest in Toledo two weeks ago, tonight the Toledo Police Department shedding some light on why they wear the uniforms they used to respond. Roxanne Elias checking in with the police and a Black Lives Matter leader who wants to see change. This was the scene of Toledo's first protest, which ended up in riots. There's protesters dressed up in flip-flops, um, and the police are dressed up in uh, riot gear. You tell me who's prepared for a riot. Julian Mack with the Community Solidarity Response Network of Toledo says protesters were appalled at what officers were wearing. However, today, Lieutenant Kelly Lindhart with the Toledo Police Department says it's part of the job. Several of our officers are also, they work on FBI or uh, different task forces. Um, so they are sworn to legal police officers, but they oftentimes carry the vest or the tactical gear of whatever task force they are assigned to. The problem, Max says, is the uniforms look as if the officers belong in the military. We've seen across the country our domestic police forces are behaving like an occupying army. And when you're dressed that way and when you have military equipment, it's much easier to behave that way. According to Lieutenant Linhart, these officers can wear anything from riot helmets to a shield and gas mask. And she says it's their duty to respond appropriately with what's known as action response continuum. The action was we're getting items thrown at us, we're getting our cars surrounded, we can't see out of our windshield because people are putting posters over it, and we have to disperse that crowd, that action has to cease. The crowd was eventually dispersed that night with tear gas and wooden bullets. It's left some blaming those actions on the police. I mean, when you see an officer in riot gear or military gear, um, it doesn't seem like they're there to protect and serve you. It's not the way to build trust in the community. TPD says they understand the frustrations and are looking to release up to 10 or so hours of police audio from that night. The chief's been having meetings with upper command and staff uh, to, to review the incident and see what went well, what didn't go well. If it happens again, what, what can we improve on so that we can provide the citizens of Toledo the best service that they deserve. In Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.